we saw it in August, and I didn't write it for months after that. I mean, I, I spent a lot of time figuring out the medical story, but more important than that, I just spent a lot of time doing what I talked about before, trying to figure out what is, the, is this show and who is this guy, and just stewing about it and stewing about it and stewing about the character. And a lot came into it, uh, you know, my wife will say my own cynical, skeptical attitude was a big part of it. Sherlock Holmes was a big part of it. Um, my own experience with doctors where they've always been very nice even when I know they shouldn't be and as other people, you know, it, I, I once had a situation where I made an appointment with a doctor because my hip was hurting me and I got the appointment like three weeks later and by the time I went in my hip had been feeling fine for a week but I went anyways. And it was a teaching hospital, and so like a dozen young medical students are examining my perfectly healthy hip. And they're all being extremely nice to me and extremely respectful, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, why, they shouldn't be. I'm wasting their time. And I knew that as soon as they left the room, they were making fun of me, as they should have been. And I just decided it would be interesting to have a character who didn't wait to leave the room before calling the assholes assholes. How did you come up with his name? Uh, that's a reference to, to Sherlock Holmes. It's a little nod to Sherlock Holmes. It felt like a good name too, but it's just Holmes, sounds like H-O-M-E-S, so House and Wilson instead of Watson. <laughs>